we're metal detecting for pockets. We're working our way up this really remote wash. And look at this quartz intrusion. To me, it's not any old quartz intrusion. We got all kinds of minerals in this stuff. This big one is super mineralized. We got some box works, vuggy, it's rough, looks good. Got a little bit of calcopyrite showing. And it's fairly mineralized. I haven't started detecting it yet, but you can see this is the kind of stuff you're looking for. This isn't bull quartz. We got like a quartz monzonite on both sides and then a richer quartz stringer in the middle. And then here we have a thick quartz band, some sort of finer dike material intruding the black stuff. But this is definitely of interest. Looks like we got a little bit of black sulfide showing. It's a good sign. Some crystals growing. Heavy iron staining. Ooh, stay there. Oh no! Rock almost hit my detector. But this is the kind of stuff that can carry gold. And this is some beautiful looking material. I broke this piece open and look at all that iron mineralization. Vugging, we got some pyrite cubes, and this is what you're looking for. I'm going to try to chase this material in this quartz outcrop and see if we get lucky. We're about 2,000 feet chasing this vein, and it brought me to this here outcropping. And we definitely have mineralization in the quartz. And I'm getting kind of crazy ghost phantom signals here and here, but you can see. This stuff is looking right, right here. We got hematite growing. A lot more iron mineralization. And then in this block, you can see this pure quartz vein and we got blobs of mineralization in here as well. It's possible these ghost signals are actually low grade ore. Look at that. We're gonna keep chasing this thing up the hill and hopefully the mineralization will turn into gold. Chasing the structure up the ridge, right here, some epido it looks like with iron quartz. We got some pyrite bloblets and this area is sounding off on the detector. I think my detector speaker might have pooped out so you guys will have to listen to this. Oh, those are the headphones. That's the rock right there that's singing off. So we're gonna take a sample of this home, crush it, see what we get. I'm standing above a gaping void right now, detecting up the hillside, following those veins. I came across another structure and some uh, prospect pits and old mines up here. They're going in on something totally different. I just walked down to here. I really shouldn't go any further because it looks like just right there, there's a huge drop off. I don't see any way to get out of there by myself. What they're following, this rock here is a type of nice. You can see all the banding and swirling. Apparently on the far edge, I'll light my light, but there's a two foot band of some other kind of intrusion, and it looks like they were tunneling in on that. So let's see if this will throw enough light. Pretty wild. Here's a close up look of the ore they were chasing down there. You can see the quartz, we got some epido. I'm not sure what this black is, it could be a form of sulfide. Uh, we also got crystals growing in this as well. A few of the pieces are showing a little bit of copper staining like this one. And this one here has a band of like hematite running through the quartz. This is the stuff they were on. Okay guys, looks like we got an addit here behind me. Let's go check it out. Get a bust through this brush. Ooh, it's pokey. Uh, we'll go. We'll go this way. <whistles> Look at 
Look at all that choya. Ah. Okay, that's packed full. So this is the same type of material. We got the nice, and I'm guessing, guessing they're on that quartz vein down here too. I'm not seeing it yet. Oh, there's a little stringer. This is probably what they were chasing right there in the nice. But it looks like this one didn't go anywhere. Petered out. That's the back of the hole. Unless it goes down. Full of cactus. Okay, there's a look at that vein again. It does have a little bit of mineralization, but certainly not as much as that first shaft. All right. We came, we looked, we got back guano. Right there, we got a band of calcite, if you can see that. That comes across to here. Man, these rats are something else. Ugh. Well, I definitely want to find some gold today, so we better keep moving. There's all kinds of dikes and intrusions up here. Where's my pocket? That cuts all the way across. There's got to be gold somewhere up here, and I'm going to find it. There's a little bit of fluorite up here, too. Look at this velvety shimmer. There we go. It's not quite one to do it on camera, but you guys see that? Isn't that beautiful? Check this thing out. What is that? There's something in there. Not sure what kind of material this is. It kind of seems galvanized. Uh, the bottom's definitely soldered, but there's something in there. What the heck is that? Are those claim papers? It does look like leather or some kind of wood. Cool. Looks like remnants of an old stone house or a house platform. Yeah, this is definitely the foundation for an old cabin. Big one at that, holy cow. There's all their tin cans down there. Some old irons. Salt pepper shaker, possibly. Oh, here's... That kind of looks like the handle for a tripod, like a spotting scope or something. Weird stuff. Looks like it'd been heated. Is that an old gold pan down there? What is that? Ah, oh, part of an old plate. This was probably the door entrance to the cabin. Here's another one of these weird handles. Look at that. Almost feels like the handle's made out of graphite or charcoal or something. Wonder if this is some kind of anode for a super old school battery. Ooh, maybe that's what those things were. Really old batteries. If anybody knows, let me know. See how it's streaking? Kind of looks like charcoal, and it feels like charcoal. And they've been by these canisters. Yeah, see now this is paper, charcoal. I bet ya, these were super old school batteries. Weird. Here's another one. So I'm thinking these things went together. See, there's that. We'll have to do some research and see. Well, I found something promising on the hillside here. Uh, I noticed some float coming down. And we got quartz, iron, vuggy. This one I broke and had a little bit of glimmer of potentially gold. I'm gonna grab the detector and see if we can't find the ledge. But this is the sort of thing you're chasing. You can see this float goes all the way up the hillside. 
and this one little generalized area. And it looks like it's coming from right here. Right here. Oh. There's a vein right here. This has got to be it. And if I look up above it, there's some more. I just broke that off. It's the same type of material. Pokes out up here too. Ooh, look at that piece. There we go. Right there. Some good looking stuff. Here's the extension, the second exposure of that vein. So that's mineralized right there as well. And then, is the vein disappearing? Oh, there it is again. Right here, you can see it. You can see it right here in the rock. And then it juts off under all this material. That scattering of ore was roughly 20 feet wide and went down about, it's like 50 feet, and that's it. And it led up to this point. So a lot of times when you're looking for these pockets, you really gotta cover massive amounts of ground and get lucky, keep your eyes peeled. I was out close to sunrise and whoo, now the sun's fixing the set. Whoo, shoot. Don't wanna fall down the cliff. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, we got quartzite and some quartz. There could be a vein in here. Here we have some other country rock, different type of rocks. There could be a vein in the slot potentially. See this? That's iron stained quartz with a little bit of pitting. That vein might continue up here. That's definitely interesting looking material for this area. Leave that in case these samples pan out. Oh, I think I see it right there. Super mineralized quartz. I think we better take a chunk from this upper area as well. I'll keep that one. And here it is right in here is that it yeah this is the vein right here jutting in there coming up this way oh man i always find something right at the end of the day i'm gonna lose daylight here right quick and my feet feel like they're bleeding but it might be onto something it's turning a little pegmatite now that looks like feldspar crystals what do we got here Hmm, very curious. Man, can't be walking to the top of the mountain. <laughs> I'm already way up here. Oh, I just saw something. Oh, here it is. Wonder if we just found a vein. Well, we did just find a vein. We just don't know what's in it. Guys, when I say rough, burnt, brutal country, I mean it. This is some of the e easiest walking I've had. <laughs> and it's still a nightmare. Okay, here's that slot that I thought could be a, some sort of vein. We got quartz. Quartz doesn't look mineralized. Yeah, it's some nice looking stuff. It certainly has potential. Look at that. All right guys, that's it for now. I gotta hove it and get out of here.